hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today what i'm going to do is uh, i have already implemented arrow hit and damage functions so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the enemy character or the character hit by the arrow is killed instantly when it is a headshot so uh, I'm going to show you how to determine a headshot and how to kill the character instantly so here is the demonstration hopefully I would be able to get a shot before they come to me no I couldn't I'll go a little bit back here right that's a headshot that's why that character is killed instant and that is also a headshot so just for your reference I'll show a normal shot as well so that's was a normal shot which was not killed instantly and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so i'll open my character human and close them yeah let's uh, now where, where have i defined uh, on arrow hit method it's here and okay I don't need this part right and I have this damage I'm calling this damage macro and depend based on this damage level I provide I update the health of the character so now what I have to do is I need to determine if it is a headshot or not so if that is a headshot I should give a damage level of something uh, that would instantly kill the player kill the character so this is the hit location and I have the hit location and using this hit location I have to determine um, if it is a headshot or not and I think I already have defined a method somewhere to get the closest closest bone and using that method I can implement a way to determine a headshot so yeah where did I implement that get closest bone or something yeah this one get closest socket okay that's a function I think I have used it in spawn decal damage yeah here okay so this is how that method works I yeah I have the mesh and from that mesh I have defined a list of sockets actually sockets are bones right hand left hand right forearm left forearm right leg left leg and left foot so here i haven't added the head socket so let's open our skeleton of the character and yeah we have this head so I'll copy this bone name and add it to this array. 
right now we have the head so now what I have to do is well let's define another function why not oh I can add an output here like this Shot. Yeah, this will return true if it is a headshot, otherwise false. So, in order to determine if that is a headshot, is this is all what I have? All I have to do. Check if this one is the closest socket is equal to head. If this is true, it will return true here. Otherwise, it will return false. So yeah, this is the logic to calculate the closest bone or socket. So I'm not going to explain it here because I have already explained it in some of the uh, one of the earlier videos. I don't remember which one though. Okay, take a good look at this and you can implement it on yourself by yourself and right here get closest socket with this hit location and yeah I should rename this new parameter into headshot and I have already done that so what does it say new parameter right huh? let's refresh this okay so I'm gonna have to select float using this headshot variable so if it is a headshot the damage should be what is the maximum health level uh, I have a variable for that yeah this one health max so if it is not a headshot the damage should be 5 all right let's see how it works okay it was a headshot and that's why that guy was killed instantly let's kill him too okay this Not. all right and now as you just saw the arrow is not attached to the character uh, the hit by the arrow so okay and that's all i'm going to do for today and in the next episode i'll show you how to keep the arrow attached to the character or the object that uh, hit by the arrow so we can avoid that problem i just showed you right and uh, if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye